Mr. Ed here. Today is September the 9th, 2017. I'm in the back of the Abbey at, at our little overhead buildings. Um, and today I've got a little two-part job today. Uh, in this box right here is the uh, little cutout that I did on the uh, 7th, just two days ago. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, release the queen on this one. She's still caged up. And then after I do that, I'm going to uh, move over to this little box right here, which is a little uh, uh, bird and the bees box right here. And I'm going to transfer these bees um, from this into a, a, um, a 10 frame box. By the grace of God, we'll get these two little jobs done. These bees will all get more acclimated into their new environment. And pretty soon they'll be making honey for us and everybody. Time to wrangle. So I go ahead and uh, you know put on my suit because I'm not going to smoke these girls. I want to get this uh, done pretty quick. So I'm just going to remove the top, um, pull the frame out that the queen's on, and, uh, and just release her onto the frame and then drop this frame into it. We'll knock all those love bugs off of it. I want to say about these love bugs, this, this is a, a really good indication for us down here um, uh, of there's some kind of uh, change going on in the weather. That they, they're, they're always like before uh, the cold, before the heat, the love bugs come out. It's also uh, a good indication of these things will come like when, when uh, there's a nectar flow getting ready to come. So we know that we're, we're getting ready to have a nectar flow when you see these bugs in the air. So. This one of the reasons why I'm doing what I am doing uh, right now is moving these bees is because I want them to be ready for that nectar flow. So let's go ahead and get that queen released and drop this frame in there. There she is, she's out now. So here she is, right here, just walking around. All right, we're going to go ahead and close this one up now, and uh, I'm going to move over to the little birdhouse and start moving those bees. Ain't that nice? <laughs> now here we go, uh, trying to take this, we're going to take this uh, bird box apart. Um, I don't know really how it was constructed. I'll figure it out as I go. Just got my hammer and a pry bar. And yeah, I got my smoker lit because um, I don't think these girls are going to be really happy for me coming in to disturb their home. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start taking this thing apart. Now, before I take this thing apart, I want to explain uh, why I want to take this apart. I'm really concerned that um, the overcrowding in here um, is going to. Um, give them incentive to swarm and since there is a, a, a we're getting ready to enter into or there is a nectar flow right now if there is a, you know the very likelihood of that happening so that's that is why I'm gonna go ahead and take these girls out here otherwise we could just leave them here all winter but as the overcrowding show, shows you right here uh, they really do need to uh, have more room in there so I'll figure it out as I go to how to uh, take this thing apart I know Wreck-It Ralph would be able to figure it out but I'm not gifted like him. Here I go. already tell we're going to have uh, some kind of problem because uh, that 10 frame is going to be way too big for these little girls. Um, it's almost as if I would have taken this section of the box apart they'd be all right but you can see they they've completely run out of room in here. There is nothing left for these little girls to go on. So I'm gonna have to uh, go grab me a, a five frame. I forgot to <laughs> I forgot to bring it with me. All right, let me go back up to the front and get a, a, a little nuke. So everybody has their own way of building things. And this person decided to put a little wall between uh, the two sections of the box. So this little hive is exactly what it is, a little hive. Um, and then the bees have built the comb 
across it. So I, I still don't know how I'm going to actually, should I pull the front off? And that's probably what I think I'm going to do is pull the front off so I can cut the cone that way. So the bees are a little bit stirred up right now. Um, I mean, I'm not going to be looking for the queen, but I, at the same time, I don't want to kill her accidentally. So I'll, I am kind of looking for her. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the, the, the front off and see if we can start uh, disassembling this cone. Well, that ought to wrap it up. Uh, that disassemble that birdhouse was a little bit rougher than I thought. I knew I should have had Wreck-It Ralph with me. That guy, I think whoever assembled that thing was using 16 penny nails. That thing did not want to get apart. He had it caulked and everything. He did not want <laughs> the animals to get out of it. It was difficult to get apart. But anyway, I think I got the uh, the bees in there. I actually, um, I didn't see the queen, but there I could tell there was a different pitch noise when I threw one of those handfuls in. They, they started making a big fuss in there. So I think that I dumped her in there. Uh, the bees, man, these are just gentle bees. I, I don't think I even had to wear my suit to do this thing. They really, they really are gentle bees. All right, that's all I have for you today. Um, I, it was a great day for me. You got the queen released in, in that box, and, and we got these transferred. So that's, that's a, a twofer for one day. I'm, I'm happy about that. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching, and I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Red, I'm out until the next video.